Hey everybody, welcome back to the Print 3D channel. Today is December 14th, and that means day 348 of the 3DP 365 project. And on today's episode, as we get closer to the holidays and do more holiday baking, I thought it was time to print out something very practical. And while browsing around on Thingiverse, I found this very awesome measuring cube. And our print turned out pretty amazing, and I can't wait to share it with you guys, so stick around. Hey everybody, welcome back, and thank you for joining me here for day 348 of the 3DP 365 project. As I was saying in the introduction, we're going to be doing a lot of baking this holiday season, and while I was browsing around on Thingiverse, I found this awesome measuring cube. Now this is what I would call a super practical print. I really love this model. It actually comes in two flavors. It comes in, in standard measurement for the US and metric for the rest of the world. And we printed out the US version, so this one has cups and teaspoon and tablespoon. And it's really, really cool. I think this is what I would call a super practical print because you could literally just have one item in your drawer. Actually, I think this is a little bit big for a drawer. So this would actually be almost something you would have to sit on their counter. But this is all the measurements you need in one item, and that's very cool. And our print actually turned out really, really good. I am super happy with the results. This is some of that Matter Hacker Standard Series filament in forest green, one of my favorite colors. And I just opened up a fresh roll. And I did notice there is a little bit of color variance, but that may have something to do with temperature. But either way, the print itself, it turned out awesome. I really love this model. All the little type parts in the model, all the little type areas in the model, those came out really, really clean and super perfect. There's embossing and debossing. So you have inset and you have an embossed type. So there's different areas where you can really check the quality of the print. So on this side where you have your teaspoon and your tablespoon measurements, you can see it's inset type. And then in each one of the little cup measurements, you can see it's embossed type. And everything really turned out great. I am super happy with the results. Like I said, my GMAX 1.5 XT Plus did a stellar job on the print. And like I said, we did download this model from Thingiverse. And once we had it downloaded, we sent it over to Simplify 3D for slicing. In Simplify 3D, I used a 0.2 millimeter layer height with four top layers, three bottom layers, and three perimeters. I also used 10% infill on this model because I did want to make sure it was nice and sturdy. I'm sure you could probably print this thing out hollow with lots of top layers, but I wanted to make sure that if it got dropped, it still had some stability to it. And we did print this out at 40 millimeters per second, which actually made for a long print because it is pretty big and there's lots of little alcoves and little areas of the model where the print had, has to change position. So the print time was about 10 hours, which is actually pretty long, but it's well worth it because this is what I would call a super practical print. I really love this model. It really did turn out nice and clean. There were no layer issues, no extruder issues, and no filament issues whatsoever. I do see a little bit of color variance, but this is a fresh roll of filament that I just got, and I've seen that happen before, so I'm not really concerned about it. I'm sure it'll be fine. But the print itself, it turned out awesome. My GMAX 1.5 XT Plus, of course did this print perfectly and I am super happy with the results. You'll see in the close-ups it really did turn out super super clean and like I said I'm calling this a super practical print and I can't wait to get in the kitchen and start baking and using this awesome measuring cube. Well that about wraps it up for day 348 of the 3DP 365 project. I hope you guys found this episode interesting and informative and if you're looking for ways to support the channel check out those affiliate links down in the description. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment, like, and share those videos, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.